Alright, last 15 minutes, let's go through all the MCQ. We do a quick one. Alright, I know y'all did not manage to finish everything, doesn't matter because the exam is next week. So let's go through that. Okay, question number one. Scientific method usually involves the following steps. Alright, the answer for one is B. So B, okay? Can you change the B now? Can. Why don't I just show y'all an answer? But y'all, which three questions have y'all done? Thank you. Okay, we do quick one, alright? Let me show. Oops. Let me show the answer. Zoom, 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 zoom. Here. MCQ. Marcus. Expansion. Heat and there's heat. I Ready? Mark first. We go through those that are wrong. You mean you all finished 30 questions already? No. Yeah. Did you? No? No? Yeah. So that's why I need to go through. Uh. Those that you all didn't do. Are you still doing K-pop? What? Dance? K-dance? But not as much as last time. Okay? Finish? Yeah. Okay, let's check, right? Let's go all the way to the beginning. Okay, first one, uh, I don't think there's any problem with the first. It'll be quite okay, right? It's not luminous through the blue, right? What? Non yeah, non luminous is blue. Then, luminous is also blue. No, luminous is orange. Orange and blue. I think one is pure blue and one is dark blue or something like that. Okay, wait. You just need to know two types, okay? Luminous and non-luminous. Luminous is orange. You can see. Non-luminous is the blue. That's it. So non-luminous can be seen. Non-luminous, very hard to see. Oh. Very difficult to see. Okay, so how? Question two, right? Yeah. Non-luminous. Uh, why don't you all tell me which question you all have difficulty? Uh, three. Three. Okay, the lab technician wants to label a glass uh, container containing chloroform. Really it can produce fumes which cause irritation to the eyes, nose, and which of the following is the most suitable? C. Okay, C. Okay, D is corrosive. A no, is. D, D is a corrosive. 
acid. Yeah, corrosive right? acid. So A is radioactive. So clearly it's not A or B. B is toxic, right? B is toxic. Toxic means you drink, then you'll die, right? So C is the one. Irritable. Yeah, irritable. Yeah. Next. Uh, four, any problem? Meter rule? I need uh, 4D. I don't think I need question, right? Because I have never learned it, right? Radius, what's the area of the square? Um, this is just simple math, right? You know the radius is 2. So, how many radius are there across? No, no, the radius is 2. So, what is across is 4. So, one circle is 4. So, 3 of them is 12. Yeah, because the 12 is 144. Alright, uh, 6. Density. If the volume of each mass is the each substance is the same, any problem with this? No, uh, any. So everything okay. Oh, no, I everything right. Okay, so in winter, the pond surface becomes frozen, and the ice remains on top uh, of the unfrozen water below. We can infer that. Oh, okay. A, it's nine A. Why? Because now when the ice is on top, that means that it's floating. Now for you to float, the density must be high or low? High. No, low. Lower than water. So the only way for it to be lower than water is the volume increase. Because the formula for density is mass divided by volume. So if volume go up, density will go down. Then you will float. Okay? So water is weird. Huh? When you freeze it, it expands. Water, right? Ice. Ah, ice floats. Ice will float. Okay, next one. Okay, uh, number 14, but it's just a very careless mistake. Because I read through okay. it. Next one. Uh, what is the Okay, let's look at the vernier calipers, right? Because I think you'll be tested. Vernier calipers, what's the zero error here? For 11 is B. How do we get 0 0.04? How do we get 0 0.04? Negative zero error. Now, this is a negative zero error, so you have to read from which side? You have to read from the right hand side. Okay, so why is it 4? Now, this, this, this is the one aligned. Okay, in red, that's the one aligned. So you read from the right hand side. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the fourth one. Okay, so it's 0 0.04, but you have to decide. Is it positive or negative? Right? It's a negative zero error. So the answer is B. Why? Because the zero here, the winner scale is on the left hand side of the main scale. Okay. Yeah. So you need to know this one. Okay? Actually I never learned this the rest. You need to know this. Alright, then for because this is a negative zero error, you have to add. Right. Add to the reading. So what's the actual thickness of the book? You see what is the thickness over here? What's the thickness here? Can you try? When you can, I mean the, the reading. What's the reading here? Eh, what's the reading here? This one. What's the reading? Oh, only <coughs> the correct one. Yeah, tell me the reading that you see. What's the reading that you see? 1.8 This one is a line, right? The 5 is a line, so it's 1.8 5 Okay, the observed reading is 1.85 So the vernier, I mean the uh, 0 error is 0 0.04 Which you need to add, so plus 0 0.04 So we get 9, 8, 1.89 Okay, so 12, answer is C. Because negative zero error you add to the original reading. Okay, next one. Which of the following about speed is false? 13 is C. Because it says the every speed refers to the speed of a moving object at a particular instant of time. No, average is not instant. Ah, it's not instant. It's total speed equals to total. Every speed equals to total distance divided by total time. 
It's not one instant. It's the total. Okay, energy. Okay, who's doing energy? Oh, go. You also okay. So energy, any problem? Gravitational potential. I'm wrong, though, but oh. It's oh. Okay. Very, very okay. So you understand, ah? Huh? Right. Spring. What type of energy is in spring? Elastic potential. Which energy takes place during hydroelectric power? Uh, what's hydroelectric power is from water to electricity, right? So seventy is B potential. Okay. Why potential? Because it's usually high, higher ground. So there's gravitational potential. So it's going through the, when it's going through the, what do you call that? Generator, okay? There's movement, so that's kinetic. And changes into electrical. Alright, next one. Any more after that? 19? No? 20? Which, which question do you all do until? 17. 17, okay. Now, 20 onwards is physics. This is on heat, conduction, convection, radiation. I don't think you are tested. I don't think anyone tested. Okay, so we're going to skip the conduction, convection, and radiation uh, all the way until question 23. 23 is about pressure. I think some of you are tested, right? Pressure. Pressure. No. Pressure. No. Yes. Okay, so pressure. Which pair will exi exert the least pressure on the ground? Answer is C. C. 23 C. How come? You look at the how how do you how do you know? Uh, what do you look at? The surface area. See this has a big area, this one has small. Small small area. This one quite small as well. This is the biggest. Okay, so the one with the biggest surface area will have the least pressure because the formula for pressure, force divided by area. Pressure equals force divided by area. Okay, thanks. Okay, next one is calculation. This is okay. Uh, the mass. Which statement correctly describes the mass of the object? 25 is C. Uh, it's a definition. What's the mass of an object? It's the amount of substance in the object. Wait, B, B is the weight, right? Force due to gravity, yeah, that's weight. Then heaviness is also weight. No. Heaviness is just nothing, just a statement. Alright. Alright, next. Uh, all of the following statements about pressure are true, except. Okay, six is D. Pressure increases with increasing area. Cannot be. We already said that. When the area de increases, the pressure decreases. So 26 is D. Next one. Next one, 27. A substance evaporates very quickly when left in the open. Which of the following would be its boiling point? Alright. answer is B. Yeah, 27. 27 is B. How come? Because uh, it evaporates very quickly left in the open. So in the open could be 30 something degrees Celsius. Right, so when the boiling point is very close, it will evaporate faster. Next, particles. So, Chaka, you learned this, right? Yeah. Particles. Which of the following is true about the particles of the above uh, substance? It must be a solid. So, when they are solid, uh, it's D. They vibrate about their fixed position because that's the characteristics of solid particles in solid. Next one, 29. Which sentence best describes the arrangement of particles in water? So water, we know that they are they are quite close, but they are also in a disorderly arrangement. So 29 has got to be B. They are close together in a disorderly arrangement. Cannot be far apart, right? Far apart is a gas. Uh, air, gas. Uh, next one, last one. Which of the following explains why gases have no fixed shape? C. They are free to move around in all directions. So to, to be able to do this, you need to know the three different types. Uh, solid liquid gas, uh, and how do the particles behave in each one of them. Alright? So that's it. Bye. I'm going to stop here for today.
Okay, hopefully I hit some of your questions, then. Eh? Right. Yeah. It's not charging anymore. Okay.